All right, disclaimer before I start this video. If you want to do that to your gauge cluster and you got to scrape the tint off, do it at your own risk because I'm not responsible for you pulling off your needles and fucking it up. I try to best explain how to get these needles as close as possible for them to work for you, but uh, I ain't gonna be responsible if you guys can't do it. So do it at your own risk. It can fuck up your gauge cluster. You might have to get it calibrated, but it is what it is. For me, I think it paid off, but only time will tell. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, hope you guys learned something from this if you need help or whatnot. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to basically show you how to scrape the green tint off your, uh, your, your, uh, fucking, what is it here? Your gauge cluster. So if you're like me and you want to do blue LEDs, this is a 99 F250 power stroke, by the way, a Super Duty diesel. You can see diesel fuel only. Um, if you want to change it to blue LEDs, well, you're going to run into some issues with the green tint. It's not going to work so well. So I've already exchanged my LEDs in here. Uh, as you can see, there's one right above the odometer in the back there. That's the little guy. And then there's one sitting back there. And what I noticed is I put it all in and they didn't light up because the green tint was too dark because it's a blue and it just didn't want to be a nice crisp blue. And you want, basically, you think it would light up, but no, the green tint on the other side. I've gone ahead and scraped away and made it all nice and white. What you notice is there'll be like gray and like you can see a little bit of green on there. But basically, what you're gonna do is, I would suggest using a hairdryer and slowly peeling it up, taking your time to peel it off. But before you uh, do that, you have to take the gauges off. And in order to do that, basically turn the key on, don't start the truck, note every position of the gauge. The ones that you'll definitely get bang on are gonna be your speedometer and your, uh, your tachometer there. The ones that you are also gonna have, oil pressure, because you basically set it there at zero when the key's on fuel could be off if you don't know what your tank's at before but basically mark where your tank is at this uh when you go to key on should sit kind of below the center and then when it starts up it should be roughly in the center just kind of lets you know you have voltage or if you don't it'll drop but you know you'll see uh when you key it off it will come back down to the bottom well should this one usually comes down and sits at the bottom when you key it off but it will fall a little bit so be careful with that you know where it is mine's plugged in right now so it's just above here but uh that's what you gotta do note all the positions of the gauges have all the needles there then take two spoons and basically pry it up very gently in order to pop it off the shaft here of these shafts and then you can heat this up and pry it off um also when you have this off here i suggest bring your leds in plugging in and verifying all five main illumination ones work and the little one up here works that's also an illumination one and if you've changed any of the ones like the weight to start or anything, then yeah. But uh, basically, I'm going to show you something. We really look into the light here. As you can see, it's got that green tint. That is what all these look like, but now they're white because I scraped them away. Um, just even your weight to start is the color that it will be. So if you want to change your weight to start, scrape that one away too. I'm actually going to see if that bulb will work in there, the blue one that I got, and I might even change that. But what you're basically going to do is take your piece off once you have those the needles off you have a bunch of pictures taken noted where they go and sit i can show you how we're going to calibrate them after um then you peel this off you're going to basically take it and without breaking these nubs off hold on the edge and take your knife of sorts i'm just going to set it up there because you can't hold it off the edge take a knife and scrape very gently well enough to take the stuff off like plain scratchers and you go through all the spots that you want basically you're going to have this inside this outside piece of the speedometer this piece, you're going to have the RPM spot there to attack and all your numbers. You can even do the back here too. Your red will stay on. Don't worry about it. It'll just probably, we're going to see what it actually looks like when you go to put it on there. The color. Scrape all these off too, all your gauges and whatever other lights you change. My suggestion though, keep the turn signals the same. Keep pretty much all your warning lights the same so you know they will work. That way if you have a check engine light or anything, yeah, you know. know. Fun fact too. If you want you can roll back your odometer not suggested because it's odometer fraud i'm not suggesting that at all i'm just saying i feel like you could do that <laughs> you could change it back to zero if you rebuild it freshly or whatever the fuck but no that's actually illegal don't do that that's a disclaimer right now i do not recommend doing that if you have this apart to leave your odometer where it should be um let's see what else we got 
these are all your lights and stuff here little tiny lights that you can change out your warning lights but on the back you change out your main five illumination lights there the big black ones and you see that little black kit that's the one light you also have to change it's actually different but the leds i bought came with a different holder because they're wider so i'm gonna basically show you what else to do after you scrape it off so scrape it off make it nice pick up all the big chunks that you've kind of put onto the glue because there's glue there you're gonna need crazy glue to glue it back on or super glue whatever you want to use then you take yourself a q-tip and you dip it in some acetone just acetone nail polish remover whatever works i'm using acetone and you're just going to rub it on there and kind of do do it one direction and then it'll take off the little residual stuff and then scrape it off with the rest of it you don't want to leave streaks in there and then shine a flashlight behind it make sure you got all streaks make sure it looks good for you it's a nice white and then you can go ahead and test fit it which we're going to do uh, basically which means we're going to take the cluster plug it in turn the lights on and just set this over top to make sure it looks good and then we'll glue it down put our needles on and put everything else back together and call it good so i'm gonna go ahead finish taking a little bit of residue off all this here and then we're gonna go test fit it. okay now that i scraped the stuff off there it works a lot better as you can see um yeah uh the leds are actually very nice you have to get the ones that basically they point up well they point up and out i also got a blue thing there but that looks really nice actually uh i wonder what will it look like we have the illumination of these guys too that it'll do so yeah still remain red which i don't really not like i really give a fuck uh about that but it'll look good main thing though is you have to scrape it off off all this shit here you have to scrape the back off otherwise it's not going to work very well it looks like there's uh it's brighter in certain spots on camera like if i go like up and down yeah it looks fairly even basically inspect it all make sure it looks good for you there's some little spots i gotta clean up over here but it looks pretty fucking sweet um i'm gonna go ahead clean up those little bit of spots and then i'm going to basically glue that on which i'll show you and we might even do the we have to probably scrape that off too for the park which is just sitting underneath but it looks very good right now um also you guys want to see something cool i got i did that too so it's basically going for a blue light theme. It's a uh, ice blue. You can buy the replacement bulbs on Amazon. Fairly easy to do. But yeah, you have to pull the whole dash part to do this. I'll see if I can't do the heater controls. Uh, should be able to do them blue. Probably would have to pull it off again and scrape all the shit off. The buttons I, I won't get away from. These are probably not either. But yeah, we'll see if I can't do the heater control next. Um, well, I have the dash part. But I'm going to finish this up and then I'll show you guys kind of what it's like to glue it on and then i'll do the kind of put the needles back on show you what you got to do but yeah there we go okay so i didn't really show the gluing but basically just put glue where the plastic isn't clear where there used to be glue and on the edges and shit of course and glue it down try not to get any on the outside if you do acetone a little bit you can take it off that's what saved my ass now for the next thing the fucking if you have an automatic you have this little park reverse neutral drive one two or two one you know basically what you're gonna do because you can't really oh i don't want to hook the cable as you can't really see it right now, but I hope that helps any. It's sitting right there, but you're gonna pull it forward and just ever so slightly gently scrape the back and then use some acetone. I'm gonna do that right now because I need my phone for a light. And then put that back in, clip that all together. I'll show you kind of what it looks like sitting on the dash and we'll basically calibrate all of our needles. Um, so yeah, I'll get that done and we'll see okay, what Okay, we're like. nearly there. We got the gauge cluster in and looks pretty good right now it's time to put the basically the what do you call it there the needles back on so what you can do is key it on you can see everything kind of comes on here okay and now our gauges should all be zeroed so we're going to basically take a needle and we know the speedometer should sit at zero and we're going to basically put it against zero push it on and that's pretty much it i'm going to do that with two hands so i can see a little better and uh yeah, I'm going to show you the end result. Okay, well, the dash isn't completely back together because I want to see what happens when it comes up to temp because I know where it normally sits. You can see that little... Oh, you just saw it. A little break there, the line. That's where it normally sits. Um, I actually took the method of right outside, I put a little Sharpie dot with the key off. Well, on, but the engine off. So key was in the run position. You know, wait to start came on, all that stuff. That was good. Um, so basically, all I can say is... Uh, 
put a little tiny sharpie dot you won't really see it unless you turn a flashlight on it i can't see it right now um but yeah that's that's pretty much it those two the speedometer and the tachometer you pretty much just gotta go you just gotta well, really just put them in there uh at the zero i'm gonna see if you can see that it's not good it's sitting above right now so that one has to come off which uh yeah um that's pretty much it put it back in like this key on put all your gauges back on hope for the best <laughs> their big lights on of course shit's unplugged i believe or... i don't know why it's on actually hmm. uh check this out though too i did one little light and that was uh that was what i got uh, let me change it over oh fuck where is she there we go put in four by four. Oh fuck that's bright I'm not sure how much I like that actually. That's that's like beyond. Yeah. But yeah, she tells you that you're in four by four and you definitely know it now. So that goes. I wouldn't do any other light so because that one's kind of a bitch to scrape off and put on. Well not really a bitch, just doesn't look good in the daylight. You still see four by four on that line. So yeah. That's uh that's what one of the little lights looks, but that's how you pretty much scrape your shit off and line your gauges again. I still have to fix the one there, put it back on zero. So should be good. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so it's the next day. All the gauges are back in. Uh, my method of calibrating the speedometer and the uh, tachometer did not work. Uh, basically, I had to go out and... Because you can't really let them sit there. Basically, I had to go out either use a GPS speedometer and go up to 20 and then push the needle on at 20 down a back road. Uh, those gauges though, all my, all these ones, they worked fine because they're already raised in a marked position. Uh, this, is it to be the tachometer? I just kind of got it up to temp and I put it in a rough estimate spot. So we're gonna basically start the truck and I'll see if it's still in a, a good, decent spot there. I do the oil change, so. That's not roughly, roughly correct, but it still looks pretty fucking good. Just lights up nice and blue. Pretty cool. You know, I actually have to turn it down though. It's so fucking, uh, so bright. So, we're gonna turn the heat on, but yeah, no. Basically, to do the speedometer, I had to calibrate it by driving down the road at 20, uh, using a GPS, and I pushed the needle on at 20 because it actually raises. It was weird if you do it the method I did where you zeroed out on the pin there. And the moment you start to move, it goes straight up to 20. You're kind of like, what the fuck? Uh, we're gonna see when she comes up on high idle here, how it how it looks. Make sure it's kind of roughly in the right spot. Should be about a thousand, eleven hundred, just over a thousand there. But yeah, uh, looks great. Gauges work good. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. If you guys need any help, leave a comment. Uh, let me know if there's anything you're stuck on that I didn't cover in this video, and maybe I can help out. Uh, yeah, you guys have yourself a good one. Like, comment, subscribe, send me money because I own an old piece of shit that I gotta basically put money into. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how you take the tent off and calibrate your gauges again. <laughs>